Okay, folks, this will be a tricky one, perhaps, or maybe not so tricky. We'll soon find out. It's an interesting piece I found, something that a child would love, typically. Something a child really loves. So we're going to enlarge this one 400 for sure. Okay, let's see what this is. Sorry about the shaking, folks. Anyway, it is Pepper the Pig. Pepper the Pig. A little piglet. Well, I don't know if this is a piglet. It's a pig. Makes me think of the corporate world. When I think of pigs, I think of corporations that care only about money. They don't care about anything else but money. And they're pigs. They're fucking swine. Even the company that built this photocopier was was a swine built company, Conger Minolta, as I showed earlier. Yeah. I have no respect for the corporate status quo of things, folks. And I don't see these corporate people as any more than, than fucking swine. Now that looks interesting, I think. We're not going to bother trying to center it we're going to make this into a movement piece but basically i really have no respect for uh, the photocopier industry as it stands it's all about money and that's what piggery is all about that's what this swine shit is all about is making a load of money and not caring about the environment not caring about people not caring about the customer and the experience the customer gets from the product. It's all just making money and all sorts of catchphrases and advertising slogans and buzzwords like technology and smart and stupid slogans like um, rethinking tomorrow, which is Konica Minolta's, uh, from what I know is Konica Minolta's, Minolta's latest uh, advertising slogan. So I really have no respect for the way the industry is. The industry's full of shit, full of bullshit. It's so much bullshit, it stinks. It stinks to fucking high heaven, folks. It does. It really does. It really smells. These bitches who care about money, and that's another word, bitch. In other words, a dog. That's another word to describe one of these corporate citizens like Shah Yamana, the CEO of Konica Minolta. You don't, I don't have any admiration or respect for companies like this. I don't, folks. I don't respect. I might use their equipment, but that doesn't mean I'm a fangirl, that I have some kind of uh, allegiance to the company that I use, the machines I use. I used to. I used to be a mad keen Xerox fan. I also admired what was called Konica Ubix or Konica before it became Konica Minolta later on. Uh, I used to admire these companies, folks. You know, and make no mistake, they're not worth any kind of reverence anymore. I don't have any feelings for them except hatred. I just hate the industry. I hate the people. Most of the people that work in the industry, they're just a bunch of mindless suits. And I have no respect for, for the way that they are. They are stupid people and they don't get my respect.
and I'm trying to get in touch with a lost partner, Luigi. And him and I, we want to redesign the photocopier from scratch. And we're going to make sure that people really enjoy using the product. You know, that it's not just something that people just use in the office. It's got to provide a positive user experience. It's got to be made to last. Service, keep it serviceable for around 60 years instead of five years which is today's shit you know make it make it out of mostly recycled materials as best as you as much as you can not using mined virgin material you know that sort of thing and we've got to think of the think of the future truly think of the future not a fucking advertising slogan rethink tomorrow which is supposed to be uh, Konica Minolta's offering and basically I don't like it so I'm not going to fucking I'm, I hate these advertising shit I hate these slogans and, and buzzwords and all this sort of stuff that they use in marketing and marketing a product that's not even fit for fit for purpose at times so I'm not happy with this company I'm not happy with the people, I'm not happy. The CEO, Shai Yamana, he is someone to be really hated. He's a fucktard who just cares about money. His name is Shai Yamana. Uh, he's based in Tokyo. But a lot of these, this machine is made with uh, slave labor, like you made in Vietnam, made in China. And that's not what we're going to do when we build our photocopier. We're going to make sure the workers get paid a proper wage. I mean, seriously, even worth a little bit more than what they are, show them we, we respect them, you know, that we respect the workers. You know, even if they're migrants, we're going to have some migrant work come down on, on, on our soil and become Australian citizens, and then they can work here in Australia at a decent wage, just like any other Australian person. So, you know, we've got to fucking think of the future, folks. Truly think of the future. Anyway, let's come up looking an abstract treat. I think now we can call this demo quits.